All right, thank you. Come to drinks. Kika's King King been on some lemonade, huh? Yeah. So here are the appetizers. We have the tostada, the queso, the chips and salsa flight, which you get to pick three of their sauces there. Here's a list of their special dishes. So you have the salmon, cod, shrimp, and the ribeye. A list of their salads and sides. The Tijuana Caesar sounds good. Then we have the classics here. We have some chicken, burrito, the quesadilla. A list of specialty tacos, the gringo, the shrimp taco, carnitas, and then the specialty fajitas. Also a list of desserts. And they do have a large selection of drinks here. And here's a look at the kids menu as well. Chimichangas, she's getting chicken tacos. She's getting chicken tacos. Beef, beef tacos. Cindy, what are you getting? Same thing as Brittany. We're a chimichanga. Uh, okay, I think I'm gonna go with the, um, maybe with the, the ribeye here, possibly. But look at this side. Or the, do what? The sides look good. What was that one we were looking at? Queso grits. Queso grits. Yeah. And I was contemplating in the waitress was here, she was like, no, our steak is excellent. <laughs> and uh, said that she was about to go, uh, yeah. she brought some fajitas, some steak fajitas to the table and was about to get in. Yeah, she's like, she was oh, like, I, I, I can't to... wait to eat all four pieces of steak tacos. All right. Here's our food line on the uh, salsa. Three sauces here. Um, then they're about to bring it on your queso, okay? Okay, okay thank go. you. And the chips. Is that chip blue, Chloe? Does it taste like it's blue? Yeah. <laughs> so this is the traditional salsa, the Serrano sweet corn and the Azul. All right, and here comes the queso as well. That's looking pretty. Chloe's all about those blue chips. She got it and she smelled it. <laughs> Amazing, crunchy, and so much salt. You could eat them on their own. We smashed this queso. We ate at the Mexican restaurant in Myrtle Beach. And then before that, I think for Keegan's birthday, we went, did Loco Burro yeah. and both of their sauces. While well, these sauces are good, neither one of them has me like, because I was, when I saw the size of it, I was like, man, I love salsa. Probably gonna have to ask for more, but I'm good. Like, I mean, they're good, but they're not. Exception. Well, Chloe found something. <laughs> Is it a drum? If you look right back here, you can see a bunch of waitresses waiting on food to come up. So maybe, and they admit it, they're still figuring it out. So uh, as with most new restaurants that are opening up, it takes a little bit. So bring your patience when you come. All right. Very nice. That is amazing. Right there. Right there. Chicken tacos. Yes. There you go, Juan. Yeah. The other chili. Chili. Chicken. 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 Oh, check him out. Yes, sir. So here's mine. Looking beautiful. Chimichanga. Chicken chimichanga? Mm -hmm. You got yours with all the garden? Looking good. And then Keegan's already in hers. That's her new favorite thing. She forever would never order anything like this. She tried mine one time, and ever since then, it's a wrap. Is good? Oh, yeah. Chloe, what did you get? I got um, the chicken taco and, and the potato wedges. Yes, and I got 
Looking good. That's what Jay got too. What is it? Queso grits are everything you would think they would be. Really good? Yes. Like you mix queso with grits. So do you like these grits better or the one at Cherokee Grill? Cherokee Grill. The texture. Here's what it looks like after I got it dressed. All right, so what did you think, Keegan? It was so good, girl. Definitely would come back. I know you've been on a Mexican food kick. So, I mean, local borough has been your favorite recently. Are we seeing a changing of the guard here, or? They're around the same. Around but the I would same. probably go local borough just because it's closer. Okay. But they're both the same. Chloe, what'd you think about the food? Chloe, you look a little bit like an angel in that light. She said, In case you didn't catch that, she said it was really good. She ate it all. She's a big girl, and it's all filled up. <laughs> <laughs> this was not a winner for Jay, though. No. She's not a Mexican restaurant girl. Yeah. We, yeah. we switch out. It used to be barbecue for Keegan, now it's a Mexican restaurant. And Jay's a pizza eater and Keegan's not. Yeah. So what do you think? I think that any other Mexican restaurant, what I look forward to is the salsa and the queso. The entree is the salsa. The queso and salsa. That's a good point. I would skip the salsa. I the, kind of feel the same way. The queso, I like it, but it's just queso. With these exceptional entrees, I would just wait for the entree so you could just enjoy it fresh. And it's going to be a heat up and play Fortnite. Yeah, I feel the same way. The, the, I was not really impressed. I said that earlier with the salsa. When the entree came out, the steak was amazing. They use this uh, carne asada marinade. Uh, marinade uh, and it is out of this world mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Now, the side, I am normally heavy on the refried fried beans and rice. It's extremely spicy. It does taste like they have extra... Um, taco seasoning on there and it's a thicker consistency I would probably replace it with the what is that queso grits queso grits I don't get grits in the morning it's not like I love grits or anything but once again just like how Cherokee Grill uh -huh. different type of thing this is more traditional texture of grits but the queso just makes it out of the world and you agree about the grits right some of the better ones you've had okay so we did get two appetizers on this one and it came to 106.84. Okay, bye. Bye. As with many new restaurants, it seems Azul Katina is still working out the kinks. From getting our name on the list to paying our tab, we were at Azul for about two and a half hours that day. So our suggestion would be to give Azul a little more time to come into its own. In the meantime, make sure you check out an upcoming video from Nerds on the Go on Azul as well. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. <laughs> if you made it this far, like if you liked it, comment if you're a fan, subscribe if you're feeling it. If not, that's okay too. Wow.